What's up? My name is Tank Nomba here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to enable and use the Windows Sandbox on Windows 10 and Windows 11. Effectively, it's a virtual machine without the effort of setting up a virtual machine and when you close it, all of the files inside of it just poof, vanish. It's a great tool for testing out certain programs that you don't necessarily trust, but don't give it your complete trust as it's not really worth it. Viruses and things like that can still jump across the virtual network onto your main computer and things like that. So don't think you're completely safe by running sketchy programs in the Windows sandbox. It's more of a place for testing things. I use it a ton for testing my Techno Account Switcher, an open source project that I'm working on, as I often need to reinstall it from scratch every time I need to test something different out in the installation process. Reinstalling a virtual machine or rolling it back every single time is a lot of effort, and the sandbox saves me a ton of time by firing up a near identical version of my current version of Windows inside of a virtual machine with a couple of clicks and a few seconds to wait. First of all, we need to make sure that our computer has virtualization enabled. Hold Control, Shift and press Escape to bring up the Windows Task Manager. Mine looks a bit different as I'm on the developer channel of Windows 11 Beta and head across to the Performance tab. Under CPU, you should be able to see a ton of different information about it, including the virtualization down here. Make sure that yours says enabled, otherwise if it doesn't, turn off your PC and restart it into the BIOS to make sure that virtualization is enabled on your computer. This could be under different names, so I won't be going through that here. And once virtualization is enabled, we're able to use the Windows Sandbox on Windows 10 and 11. Hit start and type in Windows Features and open the Turn Windows Features On or Off dialog. Inside of here, we'll simply be scrolling down until you see the Windows Sandbox down here. Make sure that this is ticked and click OK. You don't need Virtual Machine Platform or Hyper-V ticked in order to use this. After clicking OK, you'll be given some information about it while it installs, and when it's done, you'll be prompted to restart your PC. Make sure to do so for this to work properly. When you've rebooted your computer, you should now have the Windows Sandbox installed and enabled. All we have to do is open up our Start menu and type in Sandbox, where we can open the Windows Sandbox. Upon clicking the Windows Sandbox, we should see the icon on our screen as it slowly boots up, and it should eventually drop us onto the main home screen of our Windows Sandbox over here. It should be running the same version as you on your normal computer, as far as I understand. And you're able to simply copy files to and from it by right-click copying and right-click pasting between your main computer and the virtual machine over here. Besides that, that's really about it for this quick video. It's a really useful tool that I do use rather often as I have to run things virtualized or I have to test things out on a fresh installation of Windows. It makes life a lot easier for me. And of course, if you need something like this, this is exactly what you're looking for. As you can see, upon clicking the X, it shows that after we close it, everything inside will be discarded and permanently lost. Click OK when you're sure you've saved everything outside of the sandboxed virtual machine. And when you've closed it, everything's gone and we're back to the way we were before. Of course, once again, this isn't a complete virtual shield for you. You are still vulnerable to viruses and malware when you run suspicious programs inside of the Windows sandbox. So with all of that out of the way, thank you all for watching this quick video. My name is Techno over here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!